Now we have some three dimensional graph. So just like 2D, you have to 3D. We have say plot, up, plot. This is a two dimensional graph, and if you specify three, plot three, then it will become the three dimensional graph. So three dimensional graphs actually generally we are going to construct the three dimensional graph when the two variables that are the function of the same independent variable two variables that are the function of the same independent variable when you wish to emphasize the importance of the independent variable <coughs> so you may have some x and you may have some y you have some y okay and this can be the function of some independent variable here you have some this is the uh, x is equal to some expression which is the which contains the independent variable say for example t and here also you have the function which contains the independent variable so this is the case you can have the independent variable and this this is the dependent variable this become the determinant depends on the value of t you will have the x and y so this is the case and you want to know the effect of this independent variable then you can use this three dimension a single variable that is a function of two independent variables like z is equal to f x y a single variable that is a function of two independent variables so x and y are the independent this is the so you can construct the three dimensional graph three di everything in the three dimensional graph is the remains same whatever we have used for the two dimensional graph for the specifying the line color line width okay and everything remains same you can also construct a three dimensional graph in the subplot area just like we have used the subplot everything is the same the only difference is this is the 3d and that is the two dimension so here you can see the syntax just this is the very same syntax is there here you are using the three three refers the three dimensional line plot and in the 2d you have just plot so three means three dimension and x1 y1 and z1 this is the x1 y1 and z1 so you have x value y value and z value again x1 y1 so you have the x you have the x axis y axis and you have the you can say z axis means okay, you can have the z axis so like this maybe x x y and z so you have the z axis also line specification remains same you specify the line style whether dashed or solid or dotted dashed whatever or and is color may be the blue black green whatever and the marker shape may be diamond may be square may be the star like the things whatever property name property value remains same which is the name of the property like so like the color red this is the property name is color then value is the Rate, say for example r now this is the this is also you can specify where h is the handle of this plot and later on you can set the property of this graph with the help of the handle so h dot like this this is the remains same what is the difference only difference is addition of the third one and this is the 3d three dimension part so let us see example So you have the t value for the t is like this from 0 to 10 and the increment is 0 0.1 so number of points you are going to create here now x is equal to what this is the exponent of minus 0 0.2 times t and this is one okay and then you are going to multiply with cos 2 times t so since t is also a vector okay, and here t is also a vector so that's why you are using the dot operator here so dot dot is used so element by element so exponent this this is one one part actually you have exponent okay this is one uh, one part you have exponent this is Exponent means what? E raised to the power. 
so this is e raised to the power minus 0.2 into t you are having e raised to the power minus 0.2 and multiply by t then whatever be the result of this you are going to multiply this is multiply with cos of 2t so this is the equation actually you have the e raised power e raised power minus 0.0, .0 minus 0.2 into t and then sin t multiply by so you this is the vector and this is the vector that's why you need dot operator here okay now uh, what is this plot 3 x y and t this is the independent value independent so x and y then this and this is the line specification you know this is the solid line this represents the solid line and this is the marker color is marker is the circle now this is the uh, property name line width 1.5 so now you will see the line width the width of the line so 1.5 and color this is the property name which is specified in the string and the color is red you can specify the red red or you just say r this also work there is no issue or you just say red small case so r e d this also works this also works no worry marker size the shape of the marker this is the same one marker edge color black marker face color magenta face color this is the face color this is the face age color this is the age surrounding is the age so marker face color marker age color age color is the boundary this and face color is this now title you are going to give the title yeah it's less b means bf this bf represents bold face so you are writing in the bold face so what is the title will be written in the bold face three dimensional line plot so this is the three dimensional line plot and the color of this title is red and font size is 16 so you are writing the font size which is the 16 you are labeling the x axis and again you are a bold face what what is the label x you are saying that x this is the x axis and color is black font size is 16 y label y label again in the bold face color is black and font size is 16 z label bold face in the bold face time and z z axis you are labeling with the time and color is black and font size is 16 and grid on so you show the grid so run this this whole thing then you are getting the graph like this this is the output of this so this is the x axis this is the x axis grid is on you know that grid is on and this is the y axis you have labeled you have labeled x axis with the color black and y axis also with the color black and z axis also with the color black and point surge is 16 so you have labeled so this is the x axis y axis and time this is the time so with respect to the time this is the three dimensional graph this says that now uh, here you can come to know that line width is 1.5 and color is red then marker size 7 so here you can you can come to know and this is the line this is the line the line width and this is the red color but here line is shown so line this is the line color of the line line is red and width is 1.5 specified you have specified uh, so you see line width 1.5 color is red so this is the property if you can say h is equal to plot 3 then h dot line width you can see h dot line width is equal to 1.5 you can also set so that's why you can also use the handle but here you have it itself you are going to specify within the command so there is no need here handle is not created so line width 1.5 color is red marker size is 7 you see the marker size this is the 7 means this is the size of circle how bigger is then you can see that marker size is 7 marker edge color is black now this you can this is the black this is the edge you know can you see the edge color 
this is the age color and it is the black and you can see this is the face color is was magenta so face color is this is the face color which is the magenta now i think everything you have clear the face color and age color okay so you have seen that face color you have seen the age color everything and line width so and this is the three dimensional graph and see if you have if you don't uh, construct the effect of the time then if you go for just 2d then it will look like this so here you have just what you have done x and y you don't have the t value so x y t you have not here just like you have the x y t this is the x y t so you have to see the effect three dimensional plot and here you have the two dimensional that's why you have just plot it is not plot three so once you see the two dimensional plot then it is not giving more information but once you go for the three dimensional plot you can see the difference and you can it gives the more information as compared with the two dimensional plot so this is the importance of the 3d graphics